Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be making some horse cookies. So a little bit of a background on this is that I actually used to own my own biscuit business for maybe a month and then I got bored. This is when I was 15 maybe before I started my photography business. I was just looking into getting into the business world. So I started a biscuit business and some of the biscuits were actually quite nice. I was quite proud of myself. So I thought we would take that concept. I made sugar cookies and things and decorated them. I'll put some pictures up. I, it was nothing, it was nothing guys, but I was pretty pleased with the creations that I created at the time. So I thought maybe we could make the horses some cookies um, I'm sorry to disappoint that this will not become a business. I am jam-packed at the moment with my YouTube, my photography, my actual job. So this is just something I'm going to do for fun. This is also, believe it or not, a video which I haven't actually planned out. So I haven't got many much molasses, which is annoying because that was something I needed. So I'm going to make maybe one each for the boys, or just some little ones, hence why we've got quite a little bowl. But you can make these animals seem to be winging it with the ingredients. But well, I know the ingredients, but I don't know the measurements. But I will put the actual measurements that I found in the comments below and who I got them off. So, without further ado, let's make some horse cookies. This is actually not my best idea, like this, we'll wait for it to turn into a mush and then we'll call it my worst idea ever. Okay, so I've added my balancer in, which is like, this is specifically Bailey's Ease and Excel, it's Reggie's feed, it basically, if you add water to it, it breaks down so I thought it might be quite good to add these treats. I didn't want to add anything too different to them especially because Reggie has got such a sensitive stomach. It made sense to use his feed for this. So I've added this as a little bit of a base. The only thing I'm worried about with these is obviously it's got some grass stalks in it so I don't know if they're going to be a problem but it has not decomposed but broken down into a nice little mush which is nice so next i'm going to add some oats in now i'm not actually sure on the measurements of these but i think i'll get a cup out and we'll add gradually when adding my oats i didn't actually know what consistency i wanted it to turn out so it took a little bit of trial and error but overall I think I added about one and a half cups of oats just until it was like a dough ball. You'll see this later in the video as well. I'm not even sure what consistency I want this to be. I just know I want it to be a consistency. Would be quite nice. So that's now a cup of oats I've added. If you did want to measure off this video, there is now a cup of oats and a handful of balancer in this bowl. So we're going to add the treacle now which is a bit stressful. I don't like touching sticky things. It's time for what is probably going to be my least favourite part and that is the treacle. So let's see. Well it's not treacle, it's molasses but it's treacle. They are the same thing I do believe. Okay. Ooh, I hate treacle. I hate touching it. That's my problem with it. It's just too sticky for me. I don't like sticky things on my hands. It's worse than syrup. For those of you that have never had the pleasure of dealing with treacle in your lives. Right, I don't know whether I should just go in with my hands or 
Maybe I'll stick to the spoon to begin with because I do hate treacle so much. There's a bit on my finger now and I'm like holding it like it's been amputated or something. Okay, mix this in. I don't want to melt the treacle as well because the treacle is what is going to be holding it together. It needs to be sticky at the end of the day. Mmm, lovely. Oh, that's not helping. Right, so let's hope this mix holds itself. Would be ideal, really. Right. Let's get this onto baking paper. This is going to really annoy me because I've actually got to touch it now. Okay. Oh, I hate getting my hands dirty. This is so ironic because I have horses. Like, what equestrian will not get their hands dirty? Me. That's who. I feel like this is too too sticky. Maybe I should put it back in the bowl and add some more oats. This is so messy. I'm going to do that because I think it does need more oats. This is starting to become more of a dough now, which I'm impressed with. This is actually awful. Like, who would want to do this on a Monday morning on their week off? Probably not you guys. <laughs> Probably not me, to be fair. This is just a stroke of genius I had. Not even that, I was so lazy. I didn't buy horse treats the other day. So I was like, I'll make some. I saved myself £10, is it? It's so expensive for horse treats, to be fair. I saved myself money, but was it worth it? I don't know. Let's add some more oats. That's good. All needed. This is actually so satisfying. Like, it's a proper little dough ball now. Okay, here is my dough ball. I don't know if it's actually going to cook or anything, but we can try. Do a bit with my hands. Okay, I'm going to get my cutters now. I've got this massive box of cookie cutters. Um, I've got reindeers, gingerbread men. Aww, gingerbread man would be so cute, but I want mini treats. This is Christmassy. Those are themed though, so not really those. What else have we got? Got dogs, that's a bit too big still. Got hearts. Oh, that would be cute. We'll have that at the side. I hit the jackpot, I found all of our cookie cutters that are little. So we've got, if I can open them, jungle theme. So, circle size, I'm going to be using. I just want little ones because these are going to be quite sugary treats. That size, I like that size. Okay, let's see if we can make this work. When cutting out my cookies, it was definitely quite a slow process. You had to really take your time with it, really take your time taking the mould out because these were quite delicate. If I'd picked one out properly, it probably would have broken. So I got a little fish slice to pick them out and just pop them out. And then I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I tidied the edges up and then I even went as far as snipping the blades of grass that was sticking Cut off out the still. Because I'm really really specific like that with things okay so it can do there let's continue cutting and then do that process yeah. I heated up my oven for this to about 150 degrees. I didn't want to do it too hot because my oven is quite powerful. So I just wanted to give them quite a slow cook. These particular ones only took about 15 minutes because 
They are quite small so they didn't take very long to cook but I'd say 150, maybe even a bit less is a good mark to put your cooker at. After 15 minutes it was time to check them. To check them I didn't really know what to look for when they were cooked because this was just off a whim. So first I felt if they were hard, um, they were hard so I decided to take them out and check the bottoms of them. My aim with cooking them was just to solidify them to make sure they weren't going to crumble apart when I picked them up and fed them to the ponies and cooking them actually did just that so it was very good. I then decided to wash up because I need to keep a tidy workspace and we were about to go on to the icing stage so I thought I'll wash up the messy sticky bowls that had the treacle and oats and everything in them so I did that and I had a nice tidy workspace to work from then. So we've now made it onto the decorating stage. I put my little cookies in the oven for maybe 15 minutes. They are quite small though, so I'd say just until they're hard, you could like throw them around and they're not gonna break. They're quite sturdy, but they're not, they're not burnt obviously at the bottom, which is good. So all of my cookies are ready, I've got cookies which is a good number and I'm going to do some decorations on them now so this is where my creative side really comes out to play hello welcome to my workspace first things first I'm going to put a little bit of <laughs> okay we've got to crush this yours should come out nicely but mine's been left for ages so that's good okay First I'm going to make a really nice unicorn. Now I used to do these all the time with my cookie business. So they were definitely my favourite thing to make as well. And I'm really looking forward to creating it for the ponies. So basically with fondant. Fondant is nice to work with but you have to warm it up a bit, work it a bit before it's good. This one I used a while ago to make some biscuits for my family. I promise you it's not two years old. Um, so it's been opened, it's been exposed to the air and it's going to take a little bit of working before I can use it. Now I want to roll it quite thinly because I obviously don't want the ponies to have too much sugar. This is going to be quite a sugary snap for them, so too much of it is definitely not good. And now I'm going to do a little cookie cut. I'm going to do two unicorns, I think. One, two. And then put this to the side for a bit later. So here's my unicorn bases. Now, stick them on to my biscuits. Let's pick one biscuit. I'll show you how to make one unicorn and then I'll just do the other one. So, it will go on the biscuit like this. How do we attach it to the biscuit? I hear you ask me. I think we should attach it to the base of the biscuits. Yeah, we're going to attach it to the base of the biscuits. Hot or a cup or something of icing sugar. This is my pot of icing sugar. I'm going to take my unicorn base off the cookie and put a little tiny bit of this onto it and spread it out nicely there. The consistency of it, I want it to be quite sticky. This is runnier than I would have liked, but you know, it does the job. So there we go. And then I'm going to put my unicorn base on like so, give it a nice pat, perfect, nice little pat down, and there we have our unicorn cookie base. Next up on the agenda is making the actual unicorn. Okay, I've rolled my icing out to a nice pink. Cut it in half, it originally was like this, but it was too big. So I cut it in half, 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut a horn out. So I want the horn to go here on the cookie. I only want it to be little. So just making a tiny little horn to begin with. You can use a knife for this or you can use a special cookie knife like the one I'm using. It really doesn't matter. It will just go here on the cookie. Just there. Nicely done. There. So that's where it will stand. Obviously it's not glued on at the moment. But we've got a few other things to do before we do that. So fold that pink icing, put it to the side. Get your white icing back. Cut a flat edge on it. And we're doing the ears now. Our unicorn needs ears. So cut two little tiny ears, smaller than the horn even. And what we're going to do now is glue them on. So for this, I've just got a little pot of water. I'm going to dab my finger in the water. Move where I want the horn to be. I think I might put the ears on first though. So just put some water where I want the ears to go. Grab my ears. You can pick these up or do what I'm doing. Put the ears where I want them. Like that. And just really lightly tap on them. And as you can see, those are now on, which is amazing. Then I'm gonna get the put some water where I want my horn to be, not too much water. Get my horn. Put my horn where I want it to go. Pat my horn gently. I'm just sealing the holes that I made as well. The water is quite good for that. And there we have my horn and ears. Now, no, no, it's not over. This bit's the easy bit though. We get a little bit of pink icing, a tiny little bit. Dry your hand because it's not nice dealing with icing when your hands are wet. Take a tiny piece off maybe even smaller than that and put it on the ear so I'm going to use um, I'm going to split this bit in half actually it's easier when you work with bigger cookies so we've got our unicorn I'm going to put a little pink blob on is the inside of the ear and I'm going to do the same for the other side So I need to put some water on this ear. Remember when you're putting icing on icing, always use water. That's what I use anyway. This isn't coming together yet, so what we're going to do next is create some nostrils for this little unicorn. So get the size right, you don't want them to be too big. Move our unicorn out of the way for now. Get your little nostrils, make sure they're roughly the same size. Um, you can roll them up in the palm of your hand like that and then what you're going to do is with the flat edge of your knife or even with your finger just squish it down so we've got one and we've got two so get your unicorn again put some water where you want your nostrils to go on your unicorn so this still isn't coming together is it it's not looking as it should so what we're going to do is we're going to draw the muzzle on you can do this with a knife i'm going to use this little needle point or even a needle and you're literally just going to take your needle and just draw the muzzle onto your unicorn and finishing touches, I'm going to get a black pipe. There we go. I wanted to have eyelashes, but I think we might wait until she's dry for that. And then put a few dots by the nostrils. And that is how you create a unicorn. So let's bring this up to the camera. There she is, little unicorn. 
the horse treat so easy to make it does take a bit of time to do the unicorn bit but I'd say it's worth it I'd say I would sell that so now what I'm gonna do is let this dry this icing needs to dry specifically the fondant needs to harden and that is how you create a unicorn horse treat When my unicorn was finished, I went on to making some different designs. So for these designs, I decided to do quite a basic designs. I just put a base down, added some water, put some sprinkles on. I made sure there was no chocolate in sprinkles because that would be too much then. I just want to take this opportunity to say that these treats, be really careful because they are very sugary. I feed them to my horses maybe once every three days and it's not even a common thing for me to do they're a nice treat but if you want a healthier treat i would definitely not add the icing to it just the bases are really nice treats i think reggie enjoys them more than adding the icing because he loves the sugar rush but 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 for reggie who has also got quite a sensitive stomach it's quite good to just feed him the base guys it's now a little bit later on I finished my biscuits they've all dried and they are looking amazing I'm so pleased with them we've got my unicorn ones I've left three plain ones and we've got my very questionable Lily Radcliffe photography range but I'm so impressed with how they've come out I'm so excited to give them to the boys we're about to go and do that now I'm gonna take a few down and taste test them with the boys so let's go see if they appreciate my cooking so we're now in the field and i've got my horse treats that i made earlier today and we're gonna see what the horses think of them i think they will like them but we'll have to see reggie's quite picky he's gonna go first because he's very greedy and he has already sniffed them out Bugsy's like gonna have this unicorn one, so let's, let's get the taste test. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Is that nice? I think we've got the seal of approval from Bugsy. Nice? No, this is Reggie's. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. So we'll go over to Reggie now and see what Reggie thinks. See what Reggie thinks. Reggie's got the unicorn one. <laughs> He's very excited. So let's just see what he thinks. What is he doing? Reggie is so picky with food, but like, that seems to have gone down. There's no more for you. They're too sugary to have more than one. Was that good, Reg? So I think we've got the seal of approval from the boys. They're, they're swarming me for more, but I think one a day is enough. So with that, I think we will end the video here. It was definitely a success with the treats. It was. And Bugsy's begging for more. He's so greedy. So thank you for watching. And if you do make your own treats, make sure to tag me in them so I can see your creations. I'll see you next time. Bye.